हेलो किड्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास आई एम दीप्ति फ्रॉम एन एल के ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन लेट स्टार्ट विद एडिशन टेकिंग नंबर थ्री थ्री प्लस थ्री हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी आर एडिंग थ्री वन टू सो टू टाइम्स वी आर एडिंग थ्री वॉट इज थ्री प्लस थ्री इट इज सिक्स नाउ टेकिंग द नंबर टू टू प्लस टू प्लस टू प्लस टू टू प्लस टू इज फोर फोर प्लस टू इज सिक्स एंड सिक्स प्लस टू इज एट सो चिल्ड्रेन वॉट आर वी डूइंग देयर we are adding the same digit again and again so when we add the same number again and again it is called repeated addition got it it is known as repeated addition now taking the same example of 3 plus 3 equals to 6 so how many groups of cherries we have in one group we have three cherries in other group we have Three cherries. So three cherries in each group. So number of groups is one, two, and number of items in each group. So the number of items in each group are three. So if we have to find out total number of cherries, what we will do? We will multiply these two numbers, two and three. So the product of two and three is six. So now we can see that two multiplied by three equals to six. We can say that two times three equals six. The same thing we can say as two threes are six. Here, this cross signs means to multiply. First number denotes the number of groups. Second number denotes the items in each group. and when we multiply these two numbers we get the product that is the answer so the answer that we get in multiplication is known as product so now we know that repeated addition is multiplication and the answer that we get in multiplication is known as product now look at the repeated addition of 10 start of this three numbers 10 plus 10 plus 10 so how many times we have written 10 1 2 3 so to write the multiplication fact of this addition fact what we will do firstly we will write how many times a number is repeated so 1 2 3 three times and which number is repeated that is 10 so we will write 3 multiplied by 10 equals to 30 so this is the multiplication fact of the given addition fact from this multiplication only we have discovered the tables so learn the tables and keep practicing the math sums because without the table we will not be able to solve the sums of multiplication for example if we have to multiply 7 and 3 we must know the table of 7 and 3 and we can use any one of them Three times seven is twenty-one. So learn the tables and keep practicing the sums. Bye, everyone.